For the long and short stitch, I like to start by drawing some directional lines and this will help you, especially when you are working with a curved shape like a flower petal. And for the long and short stitch, I like to start by outlining my entire shape. So I'm mixing in a lighter color here. So I've got my lighter pink and then a darker pink because I'm going to show you how to do a little bit of shading also. I like to outline with my lighter color and you can outline with a back stitch or a split stitch or a stem stitch, whatever stitch you're most comfortable using and um, can use most, do most quickly. So I'll just outline this really quickly in a back stitch. Once you have your shape outlined, bring the needle up just outside of the outline. And um, I like to start by stitching each of these directional lines with stitch about that long. And the long and short stitch, you actually don't want to be consistent with your stitch length. That's why it's called the long and short stitch. So the more inconsistent you are with the stitches, the more natural the end result will be. So I'm starting with my darker color and then I'm going to fade to my lighter color. And once I have stitched all of my directional lines, I go back just like I did with a satin stitch and then I start filling in in the middle with different length of stitches. Once you finish with that first row, secure your thread in the back and then I, now I'm changing to a slightly lighter pink color so that I can show you how to fade. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna come to the bottom of these stitches and actually split them in half each stitch. So just like a split stitch, but we're gonna come in at the bottom instead. And then I'm gonna take the stitch all the way down past the end of those other st the outline stitches that I did. So right there. So depending on how long my shape is, I might do continue to do this color, the darker color for a couple of rows down, um, or I might do a darker color and then like a lighter pink and then maybe try and even like fade it to white. So whatever it is you're doing, you can change this up, it's very versatile. So I like to skip around to different stitches. And then these ones, since they're shorter, you're gonna start all the way up here and bring those down to the bottom. So that's the basics of it. I feel like I could spend a, probably a couple videos talking about the long and short stitch, but that'll just give you the basics of it.